A lot of parents want to know how to transition their baby from like a pack and play or a bassinet into a crib. Maybe it's time to move them down the hall into their own room. And it can be difficult to do because the baby gets used to their environment and if their environment is changed, then they're fussy and they don't like it at first. But the best way to do it is to simply do it. The reason I say simply do it is because the answer is simple, but that doesn't mean that it's going to be simple to do it. There's a couple of different ways to go about it. You can be more graduated in your approach or you can just get right to it. The more graduated approach might involve just trying naps first instead of nighttime right away. And after you know changing, feeding, and loving your baby, you put them down in the crib for naps and let them get used to that first. When you put them down, they probably won't like it because it's a new environment and you're leaving them but it's going to involve some crying to get them used to it and to teach them how to self-soothe. So don't immediately respond to their cries. Let them sit there for about five or 10 minutes or so, and then go in and gently touch their tummy or their head and reassure them that you're there, but resist any and all urge to pick them up or turn on lights or talk to them and just turn around and walk right back out of the room. Again, this teaches them that you're there, but they're not going to get what they want by crying, which is being held by you. And then the next time they may very well continue to cry, give it 15 minutes and then go in and do the same thing. The next time give it 20 minutes and then 30 minutes and incrementally increase the amount of time you wait until you go back in and check on your baby. You have to be persistent and consistent about it for at least four to seven days. There's something special about a baby's brain and anything that you persistently and consistently enforce for about four days or so will be accepted by the baby as a new norm. So your partner has to be on, on board with this plan too because if they go in and pick up the baby and they don't let them cry, then it, they're, not, they're never gonna learn how to self-soothe. So pick a time when you don't have to go very many places, when you have about a week or so and you can do this, and after you've gotten naps down, then you can do the same thing for bedtime and throughout the night. Do keep in mind that small babies may need extra nighttime feedings, and so don't encourage sleep training during the night unless you've been given the green light by your pediatrician. Now your other option is to just let your baby cry it out. And again, you put them to, in their crib, fed, changed, and loved, and just put them in their crib and let them cry for as long as you're comfortable with it. And you can do it for naps and for bedtime right away, or try naps first and then do nighttime. But some babies may cry for a couple of hours. And as long as your baby doesn't have any immediate needs, they're not sick, they're not in danger, it's okay to let them cry. Now, you've probably gotten to know your baby's cries and you know when they're just crying because they want you and then those cries might get more desperate as they try to get your attention. But if you feel like they're crying because they're sick or in need, then of course check on your baby. And again, after being persistent and consistent about it for four to seven nights, you should all be sleeping better, your baby in the crib and you in your bed. Good luck with it. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Intermountain Moms and recommend us to your friends and family too. 